powering up the ADI2 deck brings you directly to one of the top screens. Pressing encoder 1 or 2 will cycle through the three different top screens. If one of the top screens is active, turning the main volume encoder will change the volume of the current output. Turning encoder 1 or 2 gives access to bass and treble, a feature well known from traditional hi-fi systems. There are two ways to toggle between the front phone's outputs and the rear XLR RCA outputs. Automatically by plugging and unplugging phones or manually by pressing the volume knob for a second if that option has been activated in the I.O. menu. The dark volume screen offers a distraction-free overview of the current volume setting, the actual reference level, the amount of bass treble gain applied and the currently used input source. Despite the screen having no level meters, overloads caused by volume, EQ or bass and treble are easily recognized. The big volume number is coupled to the overdetection, changing its color to red whenever overloads occur. In such a case, reducing the output volume will remove the clipping from the level meters as well as the audio itself. The analyzer screen is based on the spectral analyzer found in RME's DigiCheck and provides outstanding musical visualization of the audio frequency spectrum by using true bandpass filters as known from professional hardware devices. These filters are scaled to match human hearing and present their analog information over a level range of 60 dB. Another unique feature is that the analyzer not only works in all sample rates, even at 768 kHz, but also with DSD signals, which is signaled by a slight change of the analyzer and level meter color. When problems occur, like for example the ADI2 deck is connected but no sound can be heard, then the state overview screen is the right choice for troubleshooting. It shows the status of all available digital sources, SPDIF optical, SPDIF coaxial and USB. The sync column shows the states no lock, which equals no signal present, lock and sync. The column SR shows the hardware measured sample rate for the SPDIF inputs. For incoming SPDIF signals, the state column shows the signal channel status consumer or professional. In case a DOP header is detected, DOP stands for DSD over PCM, DSD is shown. The bit column shows the amount of active bits found in the SPDIF audio signal. As soon as a valid USB connection is established, USB connected is displayed. In case of USB, the sample rate is not measured but set by the external computer or class compliant host and can be verified here up to the highest value of 768 kilohertz. With USB, the state column shows the current channel mode 2x2 or DSD if a DOP header is detected.